where um, my producers in the building. I hope you get to the mic and it's Eapo MC. I'm putting them on the spot. So um, here's the second poem. These are cheap, I promise you. And yeah. Enjoy the rest of your night. She swims in her own sugar. Takes one look at a photo that reflects an ugly they do not describe, then begins frantically drowning in a pool of salt. She is the most beautiful, ugly you will ever meet. Picture. Snapshot from a stranger. Compliments are custom. Popular by the demand of God, beautiful the common word perfect. She is not Nicki Minaj. A little kin, no Beyonce, not made out of puzzle parts, just puzzle partly, dark skin. Hair short and kinky as top, a toothpick like an OBU's dirty mop. Cleaning up the fragments of anti barbie characteristics, they do not like the flame in her insecurities. She is a proud nappy, with knowledge that beauty cannot be found in the measurements of your hips. But when you barely support your lips to expose the sea salt self-esteem, confidence can be lost in the jungle gym of your smile. If the size can be not enough in the roots of little black girls who claim on to your reflected image, then it's going to strengthen your swag and just swag forever tight rope in the first place picture. She protects her polar voice between clenched teeth, swallowing whole, a tarnished, tainted, sharpest excuse for a bottom lift, ill performed trick for you. This is the most passionate poem and make you believe that this rusted engine is actually something admirable. I possess a core hat for every hair out of place. The stereotype of a poet and smoker with this tint of red eye for every black and crescent of my lips of poem. For each trick of twisted tooth, my flaws come equipped with walking sticks and pimp coats. Fans call me humble. I have sin. And they call me humble, y'all. Maybe because I only acquired enough confidence for two word sentences like thank you and too kind and I smile wild with the mouth still shut like silly. For this reason, everyone felt silly but sweet and too kind. I wonder what would have happened if you get a hip hair do in a microphone, but I kissed more girls and shook angry half seduced men. And I possibly chased away past lovers all at the same time. So you know what it is like to feel well fashioned and, and insecure all at the same time. So my face presence is compacted with a lot of pain. And I can spit poems about my ugliest things until the audience gets sucked into my story like a second skin. Tap your wrist. Do you feel my pulse beating? This is the rhythm of a woman out of tune with her own touch. A woman out of touch with the image encapsulated in the photographic lens. Piece of plastic, online snapshot. The photographer be my homeboy and be my bully. Hit me with your hardest punch. I'm going to get knocked out of this feeling, this incompletion, this insatisfaction with God's creation. Do not shun me, Father. I do not blame you. Only me for once pretending to be the bad girl, the villain in my hometown of Canada, New Jersey, a.k.a. the city of Gotham. And even though my fight is not comparable to the Joker's, his drama's insecurities ain't had nothing on me. But as you recall, I left my makeup and costume back to that man of bad habits. So the next time I'm past the mirror, a thick set piece of glass may it only be for one purpose, y'all. To slip the wrist of every insecure character I've once played. For the purpose of filling that much more hole in my imperfections. Besides, ain't nothing cooler than when your flaws actually walk with the lips. Mm.